What's up guys and welcome to another episode of my random booster box series. Now today we have something really different. This was actually suggested by one of you guys um, because I had said that I only do unboxings if I think I can probably get my money back. And according to this guy, these Weeb Schwartz or Weiss Schwartz um, Idol Master cards are really big in Japan. Now, I don't know if that's true, so I googled it, um, and I checked out a website, and he was right. I mean, these SP cards in these boxes, some of them were fetching several hundred dollars. Now, I tried to do some more research and find sold listings on eBay, because who knows, that site might have just been listing them at crazy high prices, and they do seem to sell. Now, this is a Japanese booster box, and I'll kind of go into that in a little bit um, because I don't, I don't even know if this set exists in English, and even if it did, I don't think these sets uh, are very valuable in the English editions because it's not that big here. Like, I personally never heard of this series from the artwork. I'm assuming it's about, like, girl singers or something, so... And this is Japanese, so I have a high feeling that this some of these cards may be not safe for work, so be advised. But um, they are like kids, so I'm assuming it can't be that bad. Like, that one looks like she's like five years old. But uh, let's take a look at the box. Um, of course, it's in Japanese, so it looks like there's 12 double rares, 40 rares, 28 uncommons, and five SSPs. So normally, like, the SPs are the highest here. It has five SSPs, so it looks like there are some really rare cards in here. I'm guessing the SSPs are the ones that are 100 plus. And um, I'm assuming this means that there's 127 cards in the set. I could probably add it up, but I'm too lazy to. So maybe 127 cards and 132 parallels. I'm guessing the SSPs, because there's five of them, there's like five unique artworks for that, and they're not just parallels. So I don't know how old this is. Um, I picked this up for about $67, I want to say, on eBay, and it had an eBay Bucks promotion. So it actually worked out to be about $60 shipped from Japan. So not bad at all. And it has this typical, like, booster box style that the Japanese seem to have that you saw in my Evangelion unboxings. So without further ado, let's crack this open and see if we can make more than $60 out of these cards. <clears throat> And if I can't, I'll probably never buy one of these ever again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I certainly don't want anyone coming over and finding any of these cards in my house, so I will probably not hold on to any of these. I almost certainly plan to sell them as quickly as possible. And look at that. I guess it has um, a buy a box promo for all the boxes. Uh, oh, it comes in like a sleeve. Final Fantasy TCG, take a note from this. Put your damn pre-release promos in sleeves so they don't get damaged. I mean, this one is in mint condition. Let me take it out so the camera focuses better. All right, so this is the promo card. Again, I don't know the series, so I don't know any of the characters' names, and um, I can't read it, obviously, so I'll just make up names for these girls as I do the unboxings. We'll call her Blondie and... Cat face and I, I don't even know. Ginger. Um, I don't know how many characters are even in this thing, so hopefully not too many so I can remember. It looks like there's a minimum of five based on the pack, although I don't think Blondie is one of them, so. Yep, this is gonna be tough. Um, it is made by Bushi Road. They usually have pretty good artwork, so at least the artwork should be nice. Can I open it this way? Yes, perfect. I love these packs where I can open it like this because I really hate using the tear strip. I'm always worried. And let's see if we get some big money signed cards. And for my other unboxings, um, you probably, if you check out my eBay store, a lot of them are up there already. So if you're interested in buying any of these, I will have them up shortly after this video. So this is a uh, pink haired girl, of course. Blue haired girl. Second blue haired girl. Brunette girl. Um, I wish I could see the rarities better. It's hard when I'm recording. This is a was a climax rare, so that's a pretty cool picture actually. 
Um, is this a new girl? They all kind of look the same to me. This is makeup kit. And there's our foil. Um, just a single rare. But it's a foil. Maybe it's one foil per pack. And this is a common. Alright. Now I don't know that much about Y Schwartz, so if I screw anything up, feel free to correct me in the comments. I will not be offended. Like I said, um, I know pretty much everything there is to know about Final Fantasy TCG. Next to nothing about these cards other than the fact that some of them are worth a lot of money. And that interests me greatly. Another blue haired girl. Is this the same girl? I remember her. Uh, blonde haired girl. Ooh, what is this? This camera never focuses right. Um, BNP? What does that mean? Is that a rarity? Huh. I don't know if that's good. I guess that's good. Put that aside and figure that out later. Um, blah, blah. Ooh, a second foil. So there's more than one foil per pack, so maybe that's like a really rare one. Um, this one's just a rare foil. Actually, these aren't so bad. I was kind of scared to unbox this because I didn't want these cards lying around my house because I was worried they'd be kind of too promiscuous and someone would find them in my house and be like, what the hell are you collecting, man? But uh, so far, not the worst compared to some other Weishwurz cards I've seen where it's straight up like girls in bikinis and shit. This one's actually pretty tame by comparison, so... Overall, kind of pleased. Um, rare foil? Don't know, don't know. And the single rare again. And a climax rare. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Should I be separating those? I don't think the climax rares are actually all that rare. I think what you want are like double rares, triple rares, all the from the box. I'm not sure there even are any. Does it say on the pack here? Sometimes it says on the pack. Oh, it does. So I don't see it say triple rare. Oh, I know. Right there on the left. I'm stupid. 17 triple rares. 58 BNPs. I'm not sure what BNP stands for, but there's 58 of them, so never mind. Whatever I got wasn't that rare at all. So I want the triple rares, the SPs, and the SSPs. And we'll see if we get any. These are all going to be dupes, I guess. Um, did I get this one already? BNP again. Ooh, tickets to a show. Fantastic. Um, and a single rare again. Having some nice champagne. And what? I'm not really sure what CC stands for. Educate me, guys, so that my future unboxings, I don't want to sound like such an idiot. I know CR is Climax Rare. I'm not really sure what CC is. Climax, Climax Common, Climax, oh, is that what it is? Climax Common? Climax Rare? Hmm. I guess that makes sense. Maybe I figured it out, guys. Uh, I guess these are all the commons. Um, what is this? Ooh, a double rare. And this one, I think, is kind of inappropriate. I mean, she's got to be, what, like, seven at most? Like, put some, all right. Now it's safe for work. All right. Uh, more makeup stuff and a single rare. Wonderful. Oh, wrong pile. Excuse me. And Climax Common. Now my piles are messed up. I have a few Climax Commons on the bottom there. And the Scalaire. I'll put you over here so you're not in the light. Oh, I love how these packs open. It's just... I still can't get over that sound. I love opening booster packs. I don't care what it is. Alright. I... They all look the same to me, guys. Um, I, I'm assuming we'll get tons of these. Alright. This is a single rare. Quite disturbing. Spark. Something. And, uh, of course... The Noodle Witch. She loves noodles. Or 
hair. I'm not really sure what's coming out of her mouth. But she is having... No, it's got to be noodles. Um, has that fish cake thing up there. I actually love those. And what is this? Um, Climax Common, the birth of color. So they do have some English there sometimes. Let's see what we got next. <clears throat> All right, um, cat girl, uh, sexy teacher, uh, jailbait, prison, and double R. Hmm. How many of these are there? Uh, it's only 12 double rares. Hmm. All right, that's good. And this is a regular rare. You stink. And, uh, oh, I don't think this is 20 packs, guys. I think it's maybe like 16. I don't think I did 10. Maybe it's a 16 pack box. Maybe that's normal for a white short. Actually, no, I did other white short stuff in the past, and some of them do have 20 packs. Maybe the English ones, they have more of a box shape, not this like Japanese carton shape. Um, single rare. Is that a boy or a girl? It's probably a girl. They're all girls. I haven't seen a single guy, actually, in any of these cards, so maybe this show doesn't have any men? I guess that makes sense. Are guys considered idols in Japan? I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are guy idols. I know in uh, Korea, like the guy K-pop whatever is are very big. So um, I'm pretty sure that this is a video game and a anime. I'm not sure which came first. Uh, I think when games get popular, some of them turn into anime adaptations. Like Persona is one of my favorite games of all time. Persona 4 definitely ranks in my top five. And I know they made an anime of it after it became big. I watched it. It was awesome because it was pretty much exactly like the game. Um, but this is a crappy foil. It's a BNP. You know, it just stands for crap. Uh, I don't know what these are. And a single rare. And another Climax Common. You know, I gotta say, the artwork on these are actually pretty badass. Like, um, the subject material might be a little weird to some of you, particularly Westerners, but uh, you gotta admit, like, the artwork is way better than Final Fantasy TCG. Even the crappy looking ones, like these I guess would be considered the crappy looking ones, even they look better, like they don't have a plain white background, they took some time to put a gradient in there. White Schwartz cards in general look real nice, so I would say that I'm a big fan of the artwork on these cards. Um, even though I really don't want them sitting around my house for too long. We'll see if I can get my money back on this. And the other reason, um, I, I said I'd get into this. The reason I bought a Japanese booster box, and um, I think Idolmaster does have an English set for Weiss Schwartz. Um, I was looking at buying one of the Meister boxes, but the card prices are way better actually for the Japanese one, which makes perfect sense because this supposedly is very huge in Japan and here in the United States like I'm kind of or at least used to be pretty big into anime culture and stuff and I had never heard of Idolmaster so for me to have never heard of it that means like 99.9% .9 of Westerners have never heard of it and if they never heard of it they're not going to buy the cards right in Japan apparently like these characters are like plastered on streets and stuff and it's in very high demand so I may end up selling these overseas um, on eBay. You can opt in to ship internationally. And if I get anything worth selling, I'll do that. Although so far it doesn't look like I got anything that special. I was really hoping to hit a signed card, which is always an awesome moment when you're dealing with Weiss Schwartz cards because a signed card almost always means basically that your pack is, or your box is paid for. 
Um, Final Fantasy TCG doesn't actually have anything like that except for promos. Like in Final Fantasy TCG, you don't really have like the lottery card concept. Um, if you buy a case, you're going to get like a full play set of every card in it. So you don't really get as much joy out of opening the packs. Oh, Ooh, I thought that was a signed card for a second because of her damn shirt. You lying. Can't say it. She's underage. Um, yeah, I don't even remember if I saw these before. And another rare. So I am getting a huge stack of rares, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of foils in this set. There's actually, I guess, if you go by the parallels, more foils than non-foils. Just humorous enough. Uh, let's see. I'm really curious to see how long these will sit on eBay if I list them, or if they fly off the shelves. These were actually kind of hard to get. They seem to be kind of sold out to some extent. What is this? Focus camera, listen to me. Climax Rare. All these horizontal cards all pretty much look the same. I'll kind of do like a little summary of them at the end. Um, blur. That took a foil slot actually. And this one is just a rare. So I guess these are all, um, like I said, pop singers or something, although some of them are kind of weird, like this one looks like they're in outer space or something. How many packs do I have? Three more packs, three more chances at an SP to pay for this box. If not, I probably got hosed. Again, with my eBay bucks cash back and my credit card cash back, this thing probably cost about $60 shipped. We'll see if that was a good investment. Worst case scenario, I don't get my money back, but I'll get some back and I have some content for the channel because you guys said you enjoy seeing these random booster box openings. Um, all right, green haired girl and single rare again. I wonder how many of these damn boxes you need to buy to get a complete set like. Do you need an entire case? Ooh, Climax Rare. I don't think I got a, tri a triple rare yet. If I did, I wasn't paying attention. So hopefully I get at least one triple rare if I'm not going to get an SP card, which at this point I only have two packs left, so I'm guessing I won't. All right, a lot of doopy dupes. Double rare. And single rare. Damn. What is this? Climax common, I guess. Honestly, um, based on what I'm seeing, I'm not sure. <sighs> There's got to be like a thousand characters in this thing because I'm not really seeing any familiar faces. They all look kind of different to me. Like just this pack alone has like five. And there's, so again, there's 127 unique cards. I'll count them all afterwards to see how many unique cards I got. And I'll add it to my famous black bars. Um, no SPs. As far as I know, no triple rares. Which is actually very, very disappointing. Thought I'd get at least one if I'm not going to get an SP card, so I think I'm getting why the SP cards are so expensive, guys. Apparently they're very hard to get. Alright, or it's just in that stack and I completely missed it, in which case I'll also add that to my black bar and tell you what a moron I am. Uh, single rare. Alright. Uh... Don't know, don't know. And another single rare. And a Climax Common. Very inappropriate. All right, so looks like I didn't get a single SP card, unfortunately. I did get a crap ton of foils. Holy cow, I guess two per pack. So why don't we go over these and I'll kind of show you guys the quote-unquote rare cards. I have this giant stack. I'm going to try and get those first few Climax 
cards out of there that I didn't really sort initially. These are all the horizontal ones. So I'll show you guys that and then we'll wrap this video up. So what should we do first? Maybe these one because these are not shiny. Camera focused. All right. So, um, again, all these characters look different. I, I don't know what... Is this the show or the video game? I want to say it's probably a video game because the diversity in characters is so high that I can't imagine you can make a decent show that featured so many different characters. Or who knows? Game of Thrones does exist and Game of Thrones is freaking awesome. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm trying to see if I missed any triple rares. Rare, double rare, 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 rare. All right, I'm not going to say it out loud because you guys are probably going to hate me. Double rare. Nope, I just did it again. Mm. Yeah, no. I don't even know if I got any dupes because these... Characters are so hard to remember. Are. Come on. Tell me I missed a signed card. I just didn't notice the signature. Come on. Noodle Girl, I remember her. Rare. Rare. Oh, not safe for YouTube. Rare. BNP. You know, there's a lot of BNPs. I didn't get many of them, so... Can't tell if they're rare or not. BNP and rare. So, all right, guys, looks like that's my unboxing of the Weiss Schwartz Idol Master. What's it called? Idol Master Million Live Set. Unfortunately, I did not have an awesome box hit like an SP card, so. It's a good chance I won't make my money back on these, but I'll list them anyways and find out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'll be doing more Weiss Schwartz stuff in the future. And if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Just keep in mind that I'm more likely to do it if I see people actually buying the damn things on eBay or card stores or TCG player. If you suggest to me, like one guy suggested to me, um, oh, I don't even remember like the name of it. It was like... The booster pack was only like $15, but it was like a joke. It was from like the 90s, like the era of Magic the Gathering. But I knew for a fact that no one would ever, ever buy singles for that. If you suggest something like that, I probably won't do it. Because I, not only can I not sell them, I probably don't even want to look at the cards because they're so crappy. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more things like this in the future. Thanks a lot. See you later, guys. Bye.